Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we will be taking your calls for the entire hour. So please get on the phone. I'd love to talk to you. First, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Daily text messages help type 2 diabetics to better control their glucose levels. Researchers from Scripps Health followed 126 diabetics' health progress over six months. All participants received basic diabetes management education. They also were given blood glucose monitors and access to medical care. Half of the participants received two to three text messages daily that provided educational or motivational diabetes management tips. At the end of the study, those that received the texted tips showed average long-term glucose levels 12% lower than those who did not receive frequent glucose management reminders. The study was published by Diabetes Care. Well, this one's refreshing. We have featured several studies in recent years that disparage the overuse of cell phones. However, this study shows that frequent text message reminders are capable of helping diabetics to better control their glucose levels. In fact, this study showed daily educational texts lower the long-term glucose levels, that's the hemoglobin A1C, as well as a medication. In this study, the participants received messages such as use small plates, portions will look larger and you may feel more satisfied after eating, or it takes a team, get the support of your family, or tick tock, take your medicines at the same time every day, or even it's time to check your blood sugar level, please text back the results. Now, over the six month study, participants received 354 educational and motivational messages that made a difference. The, study, the key to success is knowledge and a willingness to change. Now, the more you know, the better your diabetes outcomes. It is it absolutely necessary that we become educated through cell phone text messages? Well, I don't think that's absolutely necessary, but learning more about effective diabetes management is, and that's all good to know. Eating tree nuts may reduce the risk of colon cancer reoccurrence. Researchers from the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute observed 826 patients with stage 3 colon cancer. All received appropriate therapies for their disease. They found those that ate at least 2 ounces of tree nuts a week were at 46% reduced risk of cancer reoccurrence and 53% reduced risk of death. This is a very encouraging effort found in the Journal of the American Society of Clinical Oncology. This observational study confirms the notion that we, the cancer patient, can make dietary and lifestyle changes that will improve our cancer outcomes. Here we have over 800 colon cancer patients who all received FDA-approved therapies such as surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, but the ones that regularly ate tree nuts were about half as likely to have cancer reoccurrence and half as likely to die as a result of colon cancer. Now, not all nuts are tree nuts. Peanuts are the most popular nut in America, but they're not really nuts at all. They're beans or legumes. Tree nuts include almonds, cashews, macadamias, filberts, pistachios, Brazil nuts, pecans, and walnuts, to name the most commonly consumed nuts. Past research has shown regular tree nut consumption reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, depression, arthritis, and chronic pain, and now colon cancer. Just what is it about the tree nut that makes them so special? Remember, a tree nut is the seed for the tree. The nut provides nutrients so the tree sprout has a chance to take root. So the nut is packed full of high quality nutrients including omega-3s, magnesium, calcium, and other minerals, B vitamins, polyphenols, and other antioxidants such as vitamin E, protein, and even fiber. Plus, tree nuts are rarely refined and there is minimal sugar in their natural state. All in all, tree nuts are among the healthiest foods a human can eat and they both prevent disease and help us to successfully fight disease. Drinking diet beverages during pregnancy may lead to overweight children. Researchers from the National Institute of Health evaluated health records of 91,000 Danish women, 900 of whom had diabetes during pregnancy, a condition called gestational diabetes. They found those with gestational diabetes that drank at least one artificially sweetened beverage a day were 60% more likely to deliver overweight babies. Their children at age seven were also twice as likely to be overweight or obese. 
A study was published by the International Journal of Epidemiology. Well, folks, the case against artificially sweetened beverages is growing. We have learned over the years that those who drink diet beverages actually gain weight, not lose weight. And now we learn that when a pregnant woman develops gestational diabetes and drinks at least one diet drink a day, it leads to overweight babies upon delivery and obesity in childhood. It is common for those with diabetes to assume drinking a diet drink is safe and healthy. But this study shows when diabetic moms consume diet drinks, it causes their babies harm. Bottom line on all sweet drinks, whether sweetened with sucrose, high fructose corn syrup, or artificial sweeteners, they can only be the occasional treat and never a part of our daily routine. If you need a pick-me-up, try coffee or tea as we control the sweetened content of these types of drinks. Plus, if you're thirsty, how about a big glass of pure water? Now that does a body good. Well, today on Your Health, we will be taking your calls, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acids so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Dr. Richard Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Are you sleepy during the day? Many Americans are in a sleep crisis. They aren't getting a good night's sleep, so they suffer from daytime sleepiness. The reason may surprise you, you may be deficient in vitamin D. According to recent research, vitamin D deficiency leads to poor sleep quality. If you aren't sleeping well at night, you are sleepy during the day. Vitamin D and the hormone melatonin are critical to our sleep cycles. Both are tied to sunlight. This is one of the many reasons why working night shift hours can be so hard on the body. So, if you're finding yourself nodding off during the day, before you turn to another cup of coffee, try some of the sunshine vitamin and see how vitamin D can help you get a good night's sleep. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Welcome back, everyone. It is great to be with you today. And today is Your Health Question Day. We're going to be taking calls the entire hour. So pick up that phone, dial 800 635-2673. Well, let's get started and see how many people we can help today. Let's go to South Carolina and Hi. welcome John to the show. Hi, John. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, John, how are you today? I'm doing good. Apparently, we have talked in the past, is that right? That's correct, yes. T tell us about it. Well, about six years ago, I had I have a uh, abdominal a, um, 
aneurysm. Okay, abdominal aortic, aortic aneurysm, triple A yeah, they call it, it yes. Yeah, and uh, I called and asked, what am I going to do, because I was all scared at that time. Yes. And you gave me a list of things to get, which was, uh, your main thing was the uh, uh, the uh, omega-3s, okay. was the main thing you told me to get, and uh, told me to take as many as 10 grams a day. Yes. Well, I took uh, that for maybe a week, and then I dropped it down to about... Uh, four pills, which is five grams a day, yes. and uh, I've been doing that ever since, along with a whole bunch of other supplements that you recommend for various things. Can you uh, can you name a few of those? Was vitamin D one of those? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm because there, there are many people with atherosclerosis or aneurysms that would like to know how it is that you've managed to can I be frank, John, still be alive today? This is a remarkable thing for you. Praise God. To God be the glory. What else yeah, have you done a, besides the omega-3s and, and the well, vitamin I, D? I do your heart smart plan. Good. I do the omega, the, uh, the, uh, the vitamin D3s. I do 10,000 a day, 10,000 units. And uh, I do the... Uh, so uh, the bone thing, uh, Gusman, chondroitin, and MSM. Okay. Uh, and uh, I, I take the uh, olive leaf extract, the uh, uh, astragalus. Uh, I'm just taking a, a lot of stuff yes. because I, I just want to stay healthy, and I, I'm very concerned okay. about that. Okay. And, well, John, let's help the others. I know you have a question today, and we'll get to that soon, but I want others to understand the, what's going on here. John talked to us uh, five, six years ago, and he was diagnosed with an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Uh, the aorta, as it goes through the abdomen, it's a very large, it's the largest blood vessel in the human body. And it's complicated because uh, it has branches of little art, smaller arteries that branch off to supply the entire trunk. And this area had become an aneurysm. It had become dilated. And the, the facts on that phenomena are when the aneurysm diameter exceeds, I think it's about 4.5 centimeters, uh, which is a, about two inches, a little less than two inches. When it exceeds that diameter, it continues to grow no matter what you do. That is the traditional thinking. And John, you were right at that uh, critical diameter, weren't you, if I recall right? Do you remember? Actually, my diameter started at 3.7, okay. went to 4.2, and currently it's 4.1. So you've turned the tide. Yeah. With your program. Yeah. That is yeah, remarkable. I... You know, uh, what does your doctor say about that? Uh, they're very happy. They said they might not ever have to have an operation. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. So yeah, I, what you've done is the Heart Smart Plan, CoQ10, L-carnitine, D-ribose, uh, magnesium. You've added higher levels of fish oil, the vitamin D, the glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM. People think of that for arthritic knees and osteoarthritis. Yeah. But those well, components support the strength of the artery. It gives the artery strength, and you've been using it for that purpose. Olive leaf extract contains the antioxidants that olive oil contain, and people who follow the Mediterranean diet and eat a lot of olives, olive oils, they have fewer aneurysms and less atherosclerosis. And astragalus, it helps to improve cardiovascular function. So you're doing a complete program, and it's working, and I'm so happy for you. That, that's just oh, yeah. wonderful news. It really it is. We, we also have a, a changed our diet a lot with your yeah. program, and uh -huh. uh, we uh, use about a gallon of olive oil every uh, maybe three months. Yes, good. In our good. cooking and everything, so. So it's working. <laughs> so yeah, now but, we have a little situation. You have some, uh, tell me about it, and I'm not sure what's going on. How can we help you further, John? Well, I, I have an arm that looks like it keeps getting bruised, and then yes. it goes away, and then it comes back. But uh, I don't know why it, it looks like it's getting bruised all the time. It, is there uh, something that's causing uh, 
in okay. my body that's risking because it doesn't hurt at all. Yes. It, it just looks at, you know. Yes, yes, I, I understand. Well, first of all, you're on what we call antiplatelet uh, adhesion therapy. We're trying to keep your platelets from becoming sticky, and the platelets are the little snowflakes in the uh, bloodstream, and their purpose is to plug up any holes in the capillaries, any leaks, any trauma to the skin, and when they, uh, when they hit the trauma to the blood vessel, they initiate the clotting mechanism. But when we have atherosclerosis, vascular disease, the platelets can work against you and clot needlessly, initiate a needless clot. And we don't want a needless clot because those emboli can lead to strokes and heart attacks. So we're trying to counter that. But what's happening here, two things, one age, and it is common and almost normal for older people to bruise easier. Everyone here has seen that, and you've seen it when you were a younger man. You noticed older people, they have more bruises. Their skin yeah. is thin, it's fragile. Also, their blood vessels are more fragile, so it's easy. All it takes is a bump, and you've broken a small blood vessel. And since you're on antiplatelet therapy, our nutrients, the, your program is based in that, it doesn't clot quite as quickly. But I tell you what, John, you can live a long, long life into your 90s with these bruises. They're not going to cause you trouble. Um, okay. So I would, I would hate to change anything you're doing because if that aortic aneurysm continues to expand, that will be your demise. So yeah. uh, the, the one thing you can do is to apply topical treatments to your skin. I want to send you found, a, let's see, therapeutic skin cream for the skin. And put a little of that on every day. And I don't think it's going to uh, decrease your bruising so much, but I think it will help to nourish the skin. Maybe it'll help to uh, um, thicken the skin a little so that you have a little more of a protective layer there. Is there anything else with the skin? Are you getting blotches or uh, anything else? No, nope, that's the only... Good? oddball thing. I'm, I do have a, uh, what they call it, the abdominal hernia. I understand the yeah. doctors. I didn't even know about it until about the same time I found out about the aneurysm. But, but the you know, doctor said this could be something you were born with, you know. So yes. Oh, absolutely. Uh, that's very common to be. If it's not causing you pain, if it's not prolapsing down into the inguinal canal, uh, if it's not interfering with your lifestyle, I don't know if I'd do anything with it because that surgery can really knock you down. Uh, I don't yeah. want people to be afraid of it, but it, it, it takes more out of a person than people realize. Quickly, in the, in the few seconds remaining, John, what have you learned? Can you summarize what you've learned in a sentence or two? Is it worth make, uh, making changes to your health? Oh, definitely. And yeah. I really appreciate your programming. And my wife, she's got sugar diabetes. She uh, keeps her numbers down. Uh -huh. under 115 because of information from your show and the supplements that she's taking. Well, thank you, John. Thank you so much for letting no, us know. I'm glad I came to the studios today. <laughs> and you're 77 and you're still kicking. So to God be the glory. Folks, we have a break. We'll be right back. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Are you looking for a healthy replacement for sodas? 
For thousands of years, the Far East has enjoyed the many health benefits of green tea. Now the Western world has embraced this potent antioxidant for its many health benefits as both a drink and supplement. Green tea has been thoroughly researched. It's been shown to improve bone density and immunity, as well as levels of cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood pressure. Research has also shown it to decrease inflammation and one's risk of cardiovascular disease and many forms of cancer. One recent study even found that people who drink five or more cups a day were 33% less likely to develop conditions that cause disability. For health, it is everyone's cup of tea. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Have you heard about the health-promoting power of medicinal mushrooms? These remarkable mushrooms include maitake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM. The medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Mushroom Complex with maitake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM in one convenient product. Our mushroom complex features the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, providing natural support for a variety of health conditions. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back taking your calls the entire hour today. Let's go to California now and welcome Fergie to the show. Hi, Fergie. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> Hi, Fergie. How are you? Oh, I'm so blessed. I love you. I love you. Oh. I love you. Oh. Well, we love you, too. I'm thank glad we met. <laughs> so much. Oh, thank and you. And I just thank God. For, you know, God told me this morning, he said, call right now. Oh. And I got through. <laughs> Yay. Yay, yes. yay. Yes. Well, and because well. um, I have some things I have called before. Okay. And uh, at that time, I was having brain issues. As I was, um, some, just a little history of me, uh, I had been hit by a car in 2013. I was hit in the face by a side mirror at 30 miles an I hour. I remember you. I yes. remember you. And I had a test that said I had uh, brain issues and white matter problems, and I knew that wasn't because of the accident, so I called you and got something for the white matter. How are we doing but, on that issue? Is it better? I, I think I'm having some residue from it. I'm beginning to have a little problem with memory, but I'm yes. believing God, and yes. maybe I'll find something else to help. I'm taking a lot of herbs. Yes. But one of some of the main issues I, I, I'm coming calling about is I have what they call insulin resistance as a result of taking Lipitor. <laughs> Lipitor? From yes. Lipitor? You I, know, you're not alone. There are thousands of American women in particular yes. that this is yes. happening to. Yes. Fergie, may I ask your age? 78. Well, let me say this first before we go on. The evidence that says we should take a statin like Lipitor to prevent heart disease is very sketchy for older women. Yes. It's the best evidence for middle-aged men, in other words, 40 to 60, who have already had a heart attack and have risk factors for another heart attack that are being, uh, difficult to control, like they can't quit smoking, the cholesterol won't come down with exercise and diet, and so on and so forth. But for women who are over 70, doesn't really help. In fact, it increases the risk of breast cancer. It increases the risk of muddle-headedness and diabetes and bone and joint and muscle pain. So there are other things we can do for older women, such as yourself. Now, insulin resistance, what are we going to do about that? Yeah, well, the first time uh, when, when I started knowing something was going on, I never had a big stomach. Yes. And my stomach started increasing. Yes. So I talked to my doctor, and, I, and he said he thought it was insulin resistance. Yes. And I said, well, what can I do about it? So I had been listening to your program in things to take. And one of the items, because I have a blood problem, and 
and it was um, fish oil. I took right. um, alpha lipoic acid. I took um, CoQ10. I took um, chromium chlorinate yes. and um, those things. But I, I and I also took the fish oil. Yes. And was that? Did it help? It helped with uh, neuropathy, but I have. A bleeding problem, which you said something about it while I, you were saying something about what fish oil can do to platelets. Yes. Well, that's my bleeding problem. And then later on, I kind of bumped my feet in the bathroom, and it and my and with a very small nick, I thought my toe had been amputated. I started oh my. bleeding. So I prayed and I said, God, what is this? And then he reminded me of what you said about what it does to platelets. Yes. The name of my blood disease is Glanson's disease, very rare. Gladson's disease? Yes, G-L-A-N-Z-M-A-N-N. -N. And okay. it's dealing with the fact that eight and inadequate platelets. Ah, okay, I've okay. Had a, I've had trouble with doctors that don't know nothing about it. I've had... And I explained to them, uh, my mother didn't have the signs of it till she was in her 70s. Okay. And she almost bled to death. My brother had got stabbed. I know what to do. I know what to do. And <laughs> it just came to me. And the fish oil, I believe, because you said it does something to the platelet. See, well, it can. It's what, making me believe. So, you now, Fergie, it doesn't, uh, the fish oil does not decrease the number of platelets. They're just not sticky. They're not sticky anymore. There's been a study since I've talked to you, and what it is is a beta glucans can help increase your platelet number and production. Beta glucans. And you can get the beta glucans either as an extracted individual agent beta glucan, or you can take them through the medicinal mushrooms. I'm taking, uh, cordyceps. Go ahead, say it again, Fergie. I couldn't hear you. I'm taking cordyceps. Okay, good. But I want to send you the absolute best beta-glucan on the market today. It's the NSC brand, and I don't mind saying their brand because they've done the research to prove their efficacy. It's a pure product, and it's micronized. See, you can go to the, uh, the uh, vitamin store and get uh, a bottle of beta-glucan for, let's say, $10. And you get a huge dose, 250 milligrams. But the NSC brand costs a lot more than that and you get only three to 10 milligrams. Well, why would anybody want to do that? Well, the difference is the NSC brand micronizes the dose. And what I mean by that is your white blood cells cannot use large clumps of beta-glucan. It can absorb a, a, a beach ball size, a clump for, for the white blood cell. But if you break that into tiny particles like the size of a grape versus the beach ball, the white blood cell does use it, and it has a profound effect. So why take beach balls that do nothing, even if it is cheap? That's a total waste of money. But beta-glucans will make all the difference in the world for you, and I want to send you some NSC beta-glucan, and I want you to try that. Okay. The other thing that I'm impressed with, Fergie, is dysbiosis. Quickly, have you had to take an antibiotic in the last year or two? I haven't had an antibiotic in over 20 years. Have you had any intestinal problems at all other than the bloating, diarrhea, constipation? I, no, no, I take probiotics. Okay. Well, I'm still impressed with, because with type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, the prelude to type 2 diabetes, there is, I hate to say always, because in medicine, there's never any 100% rules, but almost always, every metabolic syndrome has dysbiosis. And that's been pretty well established with the research on intestinal bacteria. So you're taking the probiotics, but maybe if we added a little oil of oregano, you're already on olive leaf, I want to send you the new also black seed oil. Black seed oil and oil of oregano are the two single best natural antibiotics we have. And I think it'll help to uh, realign your bowel flora. Plus, we need to consume fermented daily, dairy on a daily basis. We need to take glucoman and fiber with that. I want to make sure you have that. And the black seed oil and the oil of oregano. Now, quickly before the break, dear, we only have a few seconds. Is there another question? 
Yeah, there was something um, um, that you said within that that I oh dairy I can't have dairy. Okay, that well then I'm going to send you a bunch of probiotic tablets so you can take a probiotic tablet with every single meal. That, see, that's the key. And I really feel for people who can't take dairy at all because your yogurts have billions and billions and billions of these probiotics. So that means we're going to have to really push the dietary supplement. But it's amazing how many people can't take dairy and we have to take the probiotics. So thank you, Fergie, for your call. Hang in there. You're going to get better soon. I just know it. We have a break. We'll be back. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Do you have a family history of a certain disease? Scientists are discovering that our genetic code plays a smaller role than previously believed. Only about 20% of disease is tied to our innate genetic code. So what determines the other 80%? The answer may lie in the emerging field of epigenetics. What is it? Epigenetics is a group of changing factors responsible for both how our genes are read and how they are then applied throughout the rest of the body. And this may explain why identical twins with identical genes can have different health problems. Researchers believe two of the main factors in epigenetics are nutrition and environmental exposure to toxins. So eat a healthy diet, reduce toxin exposure, and you may improve your own epigenetics. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Have you heard of Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy? This remarkable mushroom also supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and lungs. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients, Cordyceps sinensis. Medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. And Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available today, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone, taking your calls the entire hour today. That phone number again is 800-635-2673. Let's go to Florida now and welcome Audrey to the show. Hi, Audrey. Oh, hi. Hello, Audrey. How are you today? Well, I'm, I'm, in, I'm hanging in there. Good, good. <laughs> Sometimes that's all we can do yeah. until things get better. So what's on your mind, girl? Well, um... A month ago, I was diagnosed with something called, I never heard of it, temporal arteritis. Yes, ma'am. I had a, um, my, my scalp was tender when I touched it, when I lay down at night on a pillow. Yes. It, you know, I, I knew that it was, it wasn't like a regular headache. It was just tender. Yes. And um, I ended up after, a, um, I ended up in the emergency room. They did a CAT scan, and then the doctor, the surgeon, decided to do a biopsy, yes. and it was confirmed that it was something I'd never heard of, temporal arteritis. Yes, it, that is fairly common. 
Oh, yeah, it is? Yes, it is. It's fairly common. It's not something you see in family practice every day, but you see it every year. Every year. Uh, what did they tell you about this? Did well, they... They, they just told me that it was inflammation and that I would um, be probably the best thing to do would be to take prednisone uh, because the danger of not treating it would be I would lose my eyesight. Uh, let me assure you, Audrey, if you do not treat it properly, you will go blind. It's not maybe, you will. Because, see, what they did, they did it right. They did the biopsy, and they have a histologic diagnosis, which is the gold standard. You can have a clinical scenario that suggests temporal arteritis or giant cell arteritis. They're the same thing that suggested, and oftentimes to avoid a biopsy, people will just go ahead and treat that. But that means at least one year of steroid, and unless you know for sure, I wouldn't sentence anyone to a year of systemic steroids. So the idea here is the artery becomes so inflamed that it, it walls off. It becomes occluded, and it is a branch of that artery supplies the eye, and if the eye doesn't have blood flow, you lose, you lose the eye. It's just that simple. So what else is going on in your life? See, because this is where your standard of care doctor stops. Well, we made the diagnosis. We're going to save the eye. We're going to give steroids, and we're going to give a high dose and pulse it down and then take you on, leave you on the steroid for at least one year, and we'll have done our job. I don't like stopping there because I always ask the question, why the temporal arteritis in the first place. Do you, do you wonder? I do. I do. Yes. So what else did they tell you, or did it just stop there? It, it really just stopped there. They don't know. Uh, I was wondering if I, I didn't, I had a sinus infection, which I tried to treat myself with oregano and yes. the vitamin C, and it never totally went away, and I just wondered if that was the reason. It could be. It could be. We know without a doubt that autoimmune phenomena in the giant cell arteritis, 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 is, can be caused by infections of viruses and bacteria. We know without a doubt that can happen. Whether your case is caused by that, we don't have proof of it, but th there's a basis in scientific fact for that assumption. How's that? Yeah, I should have taken antibiotics then, I guess. Well, you could have, but it may have not made any difference there. In fact, it may have, it, it's possible it could make it even worse because of the effect on the intestinal tract. But you're still suffering from the sinus? Well, it's very clear, but it's a, a, a little bit of drainage. You know, how how little, about allergies? Clear. Are you new to Florida, Audrey? No, no, I've been here for about 14 years, 13 years. May I ask your age, ma'am? I know that's impolite, but oh, no, I, it, you don't have to tell me. I, I'm, I'm from, in my 80s. My goodness, you have a young voice. Oh. You really do. You're doing quite well. I want to assure you of that. Don't you think, Cindy? She's doing very well. You know, you can tell a lot from a voice. People discount this, but it is absolutely true. Uh, your voice is very young with good energy. So, Thank you. you know, it's not impossible that a person can develop allergies in their 80s. And, you know, it's easy to tell. A clinician with experience, all they need is an otoscope, uh, a laryngoscope, uh, you, you know, the examining scope we use to look in the throat and whatnot. Just look up at the nose. The membranes of allergy have a purpley hue. Normal membranes have a pinkish to red hue. When they turn bluish purple, that's allergy. And you can see it with the naked eye and it's highly reliable. So that's one thing you could do. You know. Who do I go to for that? Uh, well, the specialist is an ear, nose, throat specialist. And one advantage of seeing them is that they typically also provide allergy treatment. And they, would, they could also do a culture of the uh, meatus where the sinus drains, and it's the most accurate way to culture the sinus short of a needle into the sinus, and nobody wants to do that unless we have to. That's a good thing to do. Go to the uh, ear, nose, throat specialist, the sinus specialist, and they can tell if it's allergy or if there is, in fact, a, uh, a sinus infection that's indolent and ongoing. That needs to be addressed, and the big reason not only is it, it does it compromise the immune system and it can trigger autoimmune phenomena, 
but the layer between the sinuses and the brain cavity is very thin. A chronic infection can erode through the sinus and cause a life-threatening disease, and we don't, we don't want that. So it's best to go have that checked out. Here's the point of all this. Two things. Steroids deplete your vitamin D. I want to send you vitamin D. I want you to take 10,000 units a day for as long as you're on the steroid, and I want you to get your vitamin D level checked because steroids wash out vitamin D. Without your vitamin D, you're going to open the door to a wide variety of diseases that you don't want at 80 or at 8 or at any age. You just don't want them. Vitamin D deficiency is a horrible thing. I also want to send you Foundations for Healing. Read this book. It's easy to read. It'll help you to understand the holistic principles in treating disease because something is underlying this. And with your reading and with your effort, you can figure it out and you can take steps to counter it. Thank you for your call. Good luck. We have a break. We'll be right back. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Here is our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Christian counselor Dr. Henry Brandt wrote, to dwell above with the saints we love, that will be grace and glory. But to live below with the saints we know, well, that's another story. Throughout our lives, we encounter difficult people. These souls challenge the best of us. But the Apostle Paul suggested that we maintain our grace in spite of the actions of others. Paul wrote, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Paul acknowledged it may not be possible in all cases, but we should still do our best. Try to look at difficult people through Christ's eyes. Remember his sacrifice was for everyone, even those saints we know who challenge us. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. CoQ10 and L-carnitine are among the most important nutrients our bodies use for energy production. Deficiency in these key nutrients can cause serious complications to your health. In fact, statin drugs that are used to lower cholesterol may deplete your CoQ10 levels. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients CoQ10 with L-carnitine. Now providing support for cardiovascular health is easier than ever before. CoQ10 and L-carnitine support a healthy heart naturally, as nature intended. And our formulation provides 300% greater absorption of CoQ10 than similar products, using a technology so effective it's patented. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Welcome back. Let's go to Idaho now and welcome Vicki to the show. Hi, Vicki. Hello, Hi. Vicki. Hi. How are you today? Hey. I'm doing well. I just want to tell you, I've been listening to your show a couple of months, and I've just learned a ton of stuff, and I really appreciate you guys. Oh, thank, thank you me. very much. That, that means a lot to us. It really does. We hope we're helping. We yes. <laughs> How can we well, help you, Vicki? Um, one of my main problems is the last four or five years, I cannot seem to keep my weight on. And I used to have to follow a low-carb diet to keep my weight off. And um, 
So this, if wait, I get wait, wait, sick, this, this is Vicky. Hold on. This has been going on four to five years. You said so. This isn't yeah. just the last six months. The reason no. I say that is. Um, unexplained weight loss, unintentional weight loss can be a sign of serious disease like an internal cancer, but right. a serious disease like that would not take five, six years to cause obvious problems. So you yeah, feel pretty was, good. You feel good. Well, I have some, some health issues too, but, um, you know, that's the main thing. And, um, I'm starting to get a little arthritis. I'm 62, and I'm very active. I exercise, I garden, and I ride my bike and cross-country ski and all that stuff. But anyway, since I was listening to your show, it was uh -huh. like, I wonder what my glucose is. So I looked on my last lab test, and it was like 92, and that's kind of high, right? No, that's fine. <laughs> that's, oh, it's good. Okay. 92 is good. Oh, Anything okay. under 100, was that a fasting glucose? Yes. Yes. That's, that's pretty good. That's a lot lower than the average Americans. Oh, okay. Well, what I did was I decided I was going to start. See, I eat a lot of sugar to keep my weight up, but I eat healthy sugars. You know, I eat agave and honey, and yeah. and um, I don't eat any, any white sugar at all. I make my own, okay. you know, I make, eat a lot of carbs and stuff. But uh, Vicky, I decided, can, well, maybe, can yeah. we be specific? What weight do you want to weigh, and what weight do you weigh? If I may ask, I know that's well, personal. Sure. but I'm, I'm 5'11". I like to weigh about 145 in the summer. And okay. in the winter, I like to weigh about 148 to keep me warm. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's Idaho against and, chilly and up there. Now, in February, I got really sick and I lost nine pounds. Okay. And then when I and then two, like three weeks ago, I decided, oh, I'm going to cut back on my sugar for you know listening to you guys. Uh -huh. And I lost five pounds in two weeks. I said, oh no, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. Well, I tell you, you know, here in America, we've been told that oils, fats, and oils are bad for us. And you, you can trace that line of thought back to the 60s, the late 50s and 60s, and uh, actually the politicians and the people that implemented that policy for the benefit of the grain growers of America. And this isn't my opinion. I can show it to you if you ever want to see that. But, and there are books written about this. And if we're not eating, uh, if we want to encourage people to eat grains, starches, and sugars, we know we can't eliminate protein because everybody knows that's essential. We have to have some source of protein. The other food is fat. So let's vilify fats. And the truth is the fats aren't really bad for us. They're neutral. And some fats are very, very good for us. So the way the world keeps their way, people, the rest of the countries that have not been influenced by the George McGovern policies of vilifying fat, and it started with that politician, the, uh, they use oils. And in the Mediterranean basin, it is olive oil. And olive oil, see one tablespoon of olive oil will have two and a half, almost three times, let's just say three. A tablespoon of oil has three times the calories as a tablespoon of starch or sugar. So it makes the most sense. And oil does not raise your glucose level. It's neutral in the sense that it's non-diabetic generating. So if you want to maintain your weight, add more oil to your diet. Now, as an extension of that concept, the University of Spain and the Mayo Clinic both have done research on this, and they've been able to show that three tablespoons of olive oil a day prevents cardiovascular disease, hardening of the arteries, atherosclerosis, and four tablespoons a day will actually reverse it. So adding more olive oil to your diet not only helps to maintain your weight, but it also helps to prevent vascular disease, the number one cause of death in America. That's what I would do, and that's how I would keep my weight up if I had that problem. But I don't have that problem. I have to keep my weight down. So a lot of people would say you're very fortunate. So there you go. We have a break. We'll be back. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan 
and boosts omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. More and more people suffer from asthma. One cause is obvious. The world is a polluted place and the air we breathe is not always healthy. But other causes of asthma aren't as obvious. Recent research connects a poor quality, high sugar diet and the frequent use of antibiotics to higher rates of asthma and cases of asthma that are tougher to treat. A fast food diet does not meet our nutritional needs. Plus, the indiscriminate use of antibiotics can seriously disturb the delicate balance of healthy microbes in our intestinal tract. So switch to a garden fresh diet that calms and prevents asthma. Eat fruit like veggies such as tomatoes, cucumbers and eggplant. Eat yogurt, ginger, turmeric and take fish oil. Nature holds the answer, but it's up to us to make healthy choices. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Do you believe that nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science, Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Your Health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back. Let's go to Florida now and welcome Teresa to the show. Hi, Teresa. Hello. Hello, Teresa. How are you? Ah. Uh We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> What's on your mind? Well, I don't know. I have been trying to figure out. I've had tests done to see if my adrenal glands were fine. I mean, to uh -huh. check. I, I've been to an endocrinologist, and they've checked everything. They did the blood. They did the urine, and everything was fine, they said. So I'm at the point now where I'm thinking maybe I should do a saliva test, but I've been taking B. So what are we trying to uh, address? What's the condition? Uh, low energy. Uh, my blood pressure drops. They don't know why. They oh. told me to just, I had two choices. I could eat extra salt or I could be on medication. Are, are you on a low salt uh, plan, Teresa? No, I, I, um, I eat salt. I bought the... Um, the How low does your blood pressure go? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but time is short. How low is your pressure? It will go down to 80-something. That's a problem. Yeah. It, 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 lately, it's been like in the low 90s. And you feel bad, of course, when it's that low. Yes. Yes? yes? Okay. And you had your cortisol level checked? Yes. And they did a blood test to do that? They did blood and urine. Well, here's the problem. When you do a blood test for cortisol, it is one instant in time, right? Mm -hmm. It's just one drop of blood or, or a few cc's of blood at that instant. It doesn't tell you the minute before, the minute after, not to mention an hour before, an hour after. The advantage of a saliva test is cortisol dissolves, as it were, into the salivary glands and it does not respond quickly to changes in blood levels. It does change but it is a better average of time. You also, did they do an aldosterone test? Because there are other hormones that control blood pressure and I'm suspicious that you have a deficiency of one of those other hormones because the aldosterone is what controls 
the sodium content in your blood. And when your sodium content drops, the water volume of your blood decreases and your blood pressure decreases. And this can get really bad. It can get to where it is incompatible with life. So we need to keep going and figure this out. What do you think of that? Yes, the last time I had the test, the aldosterone was six, but that was in uh, 2015. Well, these things are progressive. They tend to get worse with time. And many people will, will tell you once it's all finally diagnosed, says, you know, this has been five years I've been having trouble with this. That happens. Now, it can happen quickly. It can happen that way, but it can also happen slowly, slowly right. over time. You know, I, one thing I want to make everyone aware of, blood values for you, Teresa, are not necessarily the same as blood values for me. We all have our uniqueness. That's not unusual to think of, right? That makes sense, right? Right. And when, when, if we wanted to determine what a normal cortisol level is, we would take a thousand people who say they're healthy, and we'd take their cortisol level and plot it on a graph, and we'd, it would shape like a bell curve, a bell, and we'd go 95% here and there, Top and bottom, we're going to call that normal. If you're out of that range, it's abnormal. Well, some of those people need to be high to be normal. Some need to be low to be normal. Now, their blood value can go high or low, the opposite of what they normal are. And it looks normal, but they're not normal, are they? It's not normal for them. Do you follow me? Yes. So this could be going on with you. You may require a higher level of aldosterone, aldosterone than uh, most people need. Now you're on the lower third or lower fourth of what we call normal. It's way low for you, but it's still normal for everybody else. You follow me? Yes. And you can get into a lot of trouble when doctors don't remember that simple concept. That's your unique individuality. And I would suggest you go back and say, look, something's not right. Um, one other thing I want to make you aware of, the basic disease process that attacks the adrenal glands in this type of phenomena is an autoimmune disease. If you're not taking vitamin D, please start vitamin D now. Don't wait for a doctor to tell you because vitamin D deficiency is absolutely linked to the initiation of autoimmune disease. There's no doubt. There is no doubt. And for you, I would take 10,000 units a day for at least a month, and I would have it checked, and I would want to run a blood level of 70 nanograms per deciliter. I hope you got that. That, could, that alone could save your life, and in some cases, completely reverse the whole process. But keep going, keep getting the tests you need, because your adrenal glands are not working properly, and your blood pressure tells the whole story. Words to the wise. Well, folks, time is short. Our program is over for today. Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Come on, man. Just do it quick. No one's watching. You have to if you want to hang with us. Do the right thing. Pass it on. Good job. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. The man that raped me was white. About 5'8", probably 100.